Yes, 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 I hear you, Cheebits. I know there was no review last week. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. So today, I'm going to bring all of you the Ace of Diamonds weekly anime review. And with this episode, I, I, I just, I gotta say, I'm pretty pissed off right now. I, I'm pretty fucking heated up right now. Not at Ace of Diamonds, but at the actions of the enemy team and what they did to Miyuki. What, what I saw was absolutely fucking disgusting. It was fucking disgusting. Like, it was so fucking disgusting. I was disgusted with that shit. The way the dude just tackled Miyuki like that, slams him to the fucking ground, I'm pretty fucking pissed off right now, like, at that character. Like, what the fuck? Like, okay, I, I know you can get passionate about what you love. I know you can love baseball, have fun, fine. But going out of your way to straight up fucking tackle a person and push them to the ground and possibly dislocate their shoulder or whatever bodily injury that could happen, you're a fucked up individual. What just happened to Miyuki is probably going to have repercussions. I, I can already see it. The way that was done, the way the episode ended, when Miyuki's sweating, looking looking like he's in pain, and the way he was tackled, like that, that, that bone chilling slow motion when he got tackled and you just see him hit the ground all that and you just see the way the his body moved it looked like he got injured it looked like Miyuki got severely injured after that I would not be surprised if he either dislocated something he broke something he has a fracture I, I know something is wrong after that because with how he got hit this is a major issue and which scares the shit out of me because Miyuki is a very 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 important player in the team and if he is out of commission who the fuck could possibly replace him and be really to his level i i yeah that, that's the point i'm getting at so for that to happen this might not start a war or affecting this game but next game i, I can already see it. i could see it next week we're going to get into the episode and miyuki is going to probably say like he can't play or he's going to force himself to play and he's going to hurt himself even worse he might become another chris i i could sense that happening if this continues because miyuki needs to actually say that he's injured if he doesn't it's going to lead into some complications because right now with that hit something had to happen the way there was so much emphasis on that hit it makes so much sense that something happened to him and then also thinking about it a couple episodes ago like two episodes ago there was a hit on Miyuki's shoulder the same exact location almost as where he got tackled so the way that was done I feel like that was also foreshadowing to him getting hurt oh my god oh my god oh my fucking god okay so yeah I'm pretty heated up right now just to see how he got tackled like that now, besides that, however, Samura, okay, I, I want to talk about Samura. Samura, you're the boy. You're my boy. Just what you did, what you demonstrated in last week's episode, in this episode, holding your own, not pissing your pants when that person got their home run on you. You didn't just tense up and just break down like you did before. You held your own, you were strong, and you still were striking out the people. Even though you let some people run, you st still did a damn good job. So, Samura, you did a good job, man. I I'm glad to see his development, actually. I mean, just seeing where he started from the beginning of this series, and then seeing how it happened at the end of the na like end of the finals in the first season, and then seeing this now, it makes me just so happy to see how he has improved and how much better he will get in the near future. So, one thing, though, I will say, Furia, I want to comment on him a little bit. Furia is just a straight-up monster. I mean, I per personally, I like Furia. He's a cool character and all, but I do like Salamura having the spotlight every so often because, honestly, Salamura's been kind of shoved to the back burner a lot in Ace of Diamonds. So, to see him getting the spotlight makes me happy. But Fur Furia, the way he held his own and the way he was doing, putting in some work and doing a good job for Salamura could step up to the plate, I, I, I got to hand it to Furia for doing a damn good job. So yeah, I mean, Ace of Diamonds, pretty damn hype. It was so fucking hype, but I just sat down and watched this episode, and that tension that was rising with the music, and when you see Tor Salmaris, you know, calculating what he can do, and then how the batters are getting fucking intense and all that, it was just so, so amazing. Like, it, it felt like it was only three minutes, three to four minutes. This episode only felt like that short to me, and I'm like, damn it! Ugh! 
So yeah, tell me your thoughts. How do you all feel about this week's episode of Ace of Diamonds? What do you feel about what happened to Miyuki? How do you feel about that bastard that freaking tackled him? Oh my god, dude. That... Let me know. Let me know your rage in the comments below. Please be safe. Chibi out.